there are a number of human diseases that uh, are caused by damage to a part of the brain called the striatum. And the striatum has uh, two different parts that intermingle. And some diseases cause injury to part one, some to part two. And understanding how those injuries play out in disease course is a really important thing to imagine new treatments and understanding why those diseases happen in the first place. So in the case of the striatum, those two parts are called the striasome and the matrix. And those two uh, cell populations do very different things. They're connected to different brain areas. They arrive on the scene at different times. They have different cell surface markers. But when you look at them uh, under MRI or even under cell stains like H&E, uh, you can't distinguish those two markers. So what our group has done is develop a, an imaging method that allows you to tease those two apart to be able to understand how the striasome and the matrix function independently and how each of them is affected differently in human disease. There are roughly a dozen human diseases for whom uh, a role for a specific striasome or matrix uh, compartment injury has been hypothesized. This is things like obsessive compulsive disorder, Tourette syndrome, Huntington disease, X-linked dystonia Parkinsonism. The list affects really all areas of neurology and psychiatry. But thus far, we have only been able to hypothesize that there are these relationships uh, based on what we know about the cell type and we know about the disease course. We've never been actually been able to study those populations in vivo while the patient is still alive. This method allows us to study living individuals, both healthy and ill, and allows us to compare longitudinally how a person's disease progresses over time. So we're able to understand, uh, for example, how in X-linked dystonia Parkinsonism, the pattern of striatal injury plays out in those two compartments, striatal matrix in different ways. In uh, cervical dystonia, uh, we're able to understand how the connectivity between different brain regions and each striatal compartment is abnormal as a potential uh, underpinning, a mechanism for the disease itself. So these give us a starting point for what's wrong to begin with. In the end, we don't want to just be treating symptoms, we want to be treating causes. And this gets us much closer to the cause of some of these diseases instead of just treating at the end.